Hello to our viewers in India and overseas. We are back with yet another episode of Incredible Indians. Those of you who have been watching us have already been introduced to the really wild uh, fauna that inhabits Bombay and have met all the creatures such as dogs and the various species of humanity. But we have missed out flora. So in this episode, we are going to get to know the flora of Bombay. Come meet one of the most important members of the flora of Bombay. The trees. Our trees are often overlooked because they cannot speak. But they give us life, they give us shade. In fact, you may not notice, but we are standing right now in the shade of a tree. But what better way to understand a tree than to meet a tree hugger? Uh, you call me tree hugger, but I have a correction. I'm a former tree hugger. Uh, uh, these trees are making me a bit uneasy. Can we um, shoot somewhere else? Of course, of course. Thank you. Uh, finally, we are out of those trees. They make me very uneasy. Buildings make me feel safe. You can't hug them and they can't hug you. Anyway, I'm Darshan Sudarshan and I'm an author. I've written the book, My Years as a Tree Hugger or How I Lost My Arm. Mr. Sudarshan, this is a very shocking development. Last we met, you loved trees. In fact, you had successfully petitioned to save the Mumbai mangrove trees. And you even had an arm. I still have an arm. What I don't have is another arm. I think the modern journalists are going a bit blind. You didn't see my arm, then you didn't get the name of my book right. And every day I see in the paper, journalist gets thousands of things wrong. Oh, I see your arm now. But you see, Mr. Sudarshan, that things are changing so fast that it's hard for us journalists to keep up with these new developments. So we sincerely beg you and we apologize, but please can you tell us the story of your arm and your life as a tree hugger? Okay, since you have asked so nicely, my child, I will uh, tell you my story. As you can see, the years haven't been kind to me. Uh, in my youthful exuberance, I used to go in the forest. I decided I packed up everything and decided I'm going to live in the green forest. You know, that is where everything is for me. I don't want humanity, I don't want civilization. And uh, I made the decision, I went there. And every day in the morning, in the forest, I used to get up and hug trees. You know, and then one fateful day, one fateful day, I decided to hug, my, hug one tree. But unfortunately, it was my last tree that I could have. While I was hugging it, there was some liquid that flowed down suddenly. And I thought, wow, the tree is responding. Even trees have emotions. I'm sitting on these nails in this case. I was lucky there were blunt nails and they weren't those spiky nails. Anyway, uh, where was I? Oh yes, the liquid. And uh, it made me happy that the tree was responding, that there was going to be a breakthrough in tree studies. But unfortunately, it was a red liquid. And when I moved away from the tree, I realized there was nothing on my left side. And in front of me, I saw a bear who was, who was, his blood was flowing down his body. And the next thing I remember is that I woke up in the hospital. They told me that they shot this bear. And you know, earlier I would have thought, oh, they have killed a bear, they have killed nature. But I felt happiness. And so I decided I am no longer a tree hugger. You can't hug trees with one arm. So this is my story. It's a really touching story, Mr. Sudarshan. I am very moved. But uh, how are you spending your days now, if not uh, hugging trees? While I was in the hospital, I had a lot of time to think. And it uh, made me think why I was hating all these non-tree lovers and I was loving these trees. Isn't there something bizarre about a man who loves trees? You can't do that all your life. So in a way, the, when the bear ate my arm, I was awakened again. It was a, like an enlightenment, my baptism. And then I thought maybe I should look inwards. Like what is the real important things that matter. And uh, I was just staring out the window and I saw some children playing there. And I thought, look how happy these children look. And uh, you know, my parents, they didn't send me to school because there were too many children at home and there was not enough money. So now I've started going to school again. I'm in the nursery now. 
Now I have to spend 15 years in school and learn how to live life again. I have many nice friends like Tinku and Chintu who are teaching me many things that how to hit the ball with the bat, how to catch a butterfly. It's good. Life is good again. Uh, thank you for having me. This is my school and now I have to leave. But and it's a great school. If anyone who has thought that I didn't get a chance to go to school, please come here and you can become a part of our loving community. You can play with those blocks and everything. Those blocks are very fun. So that was the incredible story of Mr. Sudarshan. You know, last time I met him, he was a fiery revolutionary. He just wanted to save all the trees in the world. And, and now, as you see, uh, he has different interests now. So there comes a time in every man's life when he must go to nursery. So on that note, thank you for watching our show and uh, have a nice day.